What's up guys, Murph Derpster here. It's been a long time, quite a few months, I understand, and I'm sorry. Just as a quick announcement, there still is not any uh, word on internet as of so far, but I can bum my school's internet. <laughs> anyway, this is a, an RPG that I recorded on uh, 9-25-2015 with Tofsky, Archon, and Jimbo slash Mudkip, and it's kind of like a paper pencil RPG, except it's not like anything official. It's just one die and us sort of making things up as we go. And hilarity ensues. I had a fun time playing it. Um, and if any of you guys want to play it on your own, feel free. I, yeah, there's not really much else. Uh, it's only audio, just like this is. But So put it on the background, do something, and enjoy us goof around for a couple hours. Uh, these videos are going to be just cut into 15 minute parts, but hopefully I should get them up all pretty soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and, a pr and preemptively, this is Merp Derpster, signing off. Sweet. Okay. All right. Go for it. Uh, I, okay. Uh, I, I'm a guy's named Brian, and I have a microwave with a really long extension cord, so I can take it with me everywhere. Like, how long are we talking? Just, just so I can picture in my mind. Uh, infinitely long. It, it just, it's just, it's a magic extension cord. Okay. And, uh, uh, I also, <laughs> uh, have a staff that lets me conjure rabbits. <laughs> okay. <What the> heck? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Okay, we got Brian. Who's next? Um,. <laughs> Go, Archon. I'm still thinking. Uh, go, Mudkip. I'm still thinking. Hurry up, quick. Face! Yeah. Go. Uh, uh, my name is Tony. I have an Iron Man suit and a stress ball. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, Archon, go. <sighs> um, I'm a cyborg. Dead, Archon. I have a katana and... One of my arms is actually a laser cannon. Okay, one sec. I just want to make note of this. Uh, cyborg. A uh, cyborg named Joey. Laser. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> laser cannon. Arm. Katana. Uh, Mudkip. Is what was your name, Mudkip? Tony. Tony. Iron Man suit stressful. <laughs> I'm just making note of your inventories and names. <laughs> Bob is going to interrupt the game. That's, that's disappointing. Disappoint. Hey, Bob. Of course that was going to happen. I mean, come on. We settled down to do something. Derp restarted his phone. <coughs> and uh, We'll just continue. Yeah, we'll have to ignore Bob. Um, and Bob the can't third play. one was Derp, who was... What was your name, Derp? Brian. Brian? Uh... Microwave with an hi Bob infinite length extension cord and and a staff wand, that lets make your rabbits wand wander staff staff of rabbit conjuring you control the rabbits as well no he did not he did not say that <laughs> rabbits at will. You can not do it. Just random rabbits that do nothing. Just <laughs> hop around. Just like, hey! Can we agree okay. that if he rolls a zero while attempting to summon a rabbit, it attacks him? A zero? I didn't know you could roll, roll that. Zeros. If you roll a one. <laughs> a crit okay. fail. <laughs> so, you're, you're in the land of Derpia. It's like Narnia, except it's found in the back of Derp's closet. The premise the is that you guys... What? what? You guys... <laughs> You guys went to Derp's house, and Derp was like, Hey guys, check out the new Pokemon game I've hid from my brothers in my closet. And uh, 
you ended up tripping and falling through a secret door in Jerv's closet, which somehow disappeared, and you were in this mystical uh, fantasy sci-fi land of Derpia, where everything is just a little stranger than normal. And more high-tech. Okay. Alright. So it's like high-tech Narnia? Yeah. Is it steampunk? Because that'd be cool. To, for you, Archon? No. Oh, no, shut okay. up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so Archon goes first. So, um, I'll let you guys decide what you want to do and everything. Go. You didn't like well, what's around us? Yeah, like what's around us. And you want to know what's around you? You're inside a forest. However, not just any forest. The trees appear to be cyborg life forms. Yet they somehow absorb sun and breathe fire. There appears. Were they made to be, of mahogany? They are also made out of mahogany. Mahogany. They are also three hundred feet tall. Anyway, <laughs> go, going on, there appears to be a trail going to the left, going to the right, and going behind you. And you fell from the sky. I can't go. Hey, um... Uh, I attempt to turn one of the trees into mahogany doors. Uh, whoops, one sec, I have the wrong dice. <laughs> You approach the tree, which breathes fire in your face. You lost all your hair because it burnt off. That's a cyborg. You, you also I suffer third degree burns. You're a cyborg. You're not a robot. You also suffer third degree burns. That tree is rude. <laughs> well, you were trying to turn it into a door. It would like being a door. Not your That's door. For the tree to I didn't give it a chance. Okay. Uh, my turn. Tony! Uh... I wanna hug a tree. One of the trees. Hug him. You hug the tree. A branch falls on you. Ow. You, you seem to get <laughs> bruised, but other than that, you seem to have made it out okay. <laughs> Your, arm, uh, your, your left arm is bruised. Ow. Um. So, what? What? Where are the paths? And like, what directions? Left, right, and backwards. Back, like behind you. Uh, can I ride my microwave down the path behind us? You get on your microwave, and you start twirling the 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 <laughs> the cable like a helicopter, and you start flying extremely quickly. Making huge distance between you and the others towards the <laughs> behind direction because you like going behind. Um, you you make it to a clearing where there appears to be a road heading towards what appears to be a village of some sort. You don't know what's there, but that's always one of your options. There is also a field in the other direction. Okay. Uh, I'm going to AFK for a second. It was your turn! AFK what the heck? Your <laughs> turn. Skip him. I just have to mute a TV, otherwise I'm going to get distracted. Okay, I'm back. Okay, go. Um, I use, <laughs> like, a med kit that's part of being a cyborg that you can, like, repair yourself. Cyborgs <laughs> don't have medkits. If you wanted a medkit, you should have asked for one. Damn it. Um, repair your hair? I, I turned one of the trees into a medkit. <laughs> He's got Bosley in his don't pocket. Me. Vengeance will be mine. <laughs> you attempted to turn into a medkit. And Brad falls on you. And broke your, la <laughs> your laser cannon arm is malfunctioning. I should have fucking <laughs> tore the tree down with a laser cannon. <laughs> <laughs> the tree reflects the laser. 
The so Shaolin tree. <laughs> <laughs> Just be lucky you hold the two. <laughs> it's my goal to kill one of these trees now. I, I sure hope so. It'll be funny when you fail. I want to follow Derp with my Iron Man suit. You, you head down the same path as Derp. And you catch up to him. He seems very happy because he beat you in the race. You feel sad. Derp, you're a jerk. <laughs> I beat you on a microwave. What can your toaster suit do? It's not a toaster. <laughs> I'll shoot you. I'll throw my stress ball at you. Watch yourself. Oh, wow. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hold up there. Don't take things too far. Okay, Brian. Come on. All right, I want to ride my microwave into town. You try to uh, ride your microwave into town. However, Tony grabs the end of the microwave, keeping you at bay, and prevents you from going any farther without him. He didn't derp. He could come too. You didn't invite him. <sighs> invite no, me next a, turn, Tony. Way to be a jerk. <laughs> What if I don't want to invite you? <laughs> Brian. <clears throat> okay, Joey, come on. Okay, um... I try to punch down the tree like it's Minecraft. You punch down Fun. the tree. You get a splinter, but the tree do falls over and dies. You laugh victoriously and pull out the splinter. Despite your third-degree burns, you feel victorious. Good job. You now have a giant 300-foot mahogany tree that breathes fire in your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> the whole tree! <laughs> Alright, so is that it? Yep. Wait, which, play, which way you were going, Derp? <clears throat> you went. I was trying to go to the village. I'll go to the village and <laughs> invite my friend, Brian. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> you invite your friend Brian to the village. Uh, however, he seems very upset from before and trips you. Wow. Ah. I didn't Brian. know such things. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I'm not inviting you next time. Fine. Uh, I attempt to uh, ride my microwave back into town, and I invite Jimbo to ride on the microwave with me. Back into town? We weren't or even into in the town, town for the first time. You invite you invite Tony to hop on the microwave and take a trip into town with you. So you you proceed to do so. However, you only make it halfway to town before your microwave uh, gets tired and wants a break. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> we're trying to like inch towards town and we're just not getting <laughs> anywhere. Kill the tree. <laughs> We've got a microwave. <laughs> Archon. Stop um, reading, you ass. Is it my turn now? Yes. Okay, um I set off towards town at a brisk run. Trips over an ant. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you set off towards the uh, towards the sit town at a, at a brief run, a brisk run. However, you realize soon that running with a three hundred pound fire breathing mahogany tree in your inventory is very difficult, and therefore you more or less crawl your way over while carrying a tree. <laughs> you make little progress. Like what fraction of the way? did I get? You're about halfway through the, the forest. And is that, like, a quarter of the way to the town? Or? Yeah. How about that? Okay. So, since me and Derp are on the same thing, do we have, like, joint actions? Uh, no. If you want, you could, like, pick up me in the microwave and fly us to town. Yeah, I'll you're do both, that. You're both on the microwave, and you're, like, a quarter of the way from the town. I'll use I'm my Iron My Man arms suit. got tired of spinning the extension cord. <laughs> I'll use my Iron Man suit to pick up the microwave with derp on it and fly to town the rest of the way. Your Iron Man suit malfunctions and blows up. You, well, however, luckily 
made it unscathed. Well then. And I- you managed to gather all the stu- pieces of your Iron Man suit and start in a breakdown, which to me? you somehow found on the ground. Uh, uh, this happened before you even got, before he even picked you up. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm gonna pick up my microwave and walk into town. But you Jimbo pick up your can microwave come too. and, and you, you trip over the cord <coughs> and get tangled up in it and roll down into, ta- uh, towards the town. You are close to the town, however, you're completely tied up and cannot move. Help, Jumbo! Help, Town A, please! <laughs> I played Joey. too much cat! Joey! Okay, I run towards the um, town again. Don't you realize you have a tree? Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> want to give up the tree. <laughs> what? I worked hard for that. Just hit the small up. pieces! <laughs> you managed to push... The, you managed to figure out that... Breaking off the limbs of the tree and pushing the tree makes it move faster than trying to drag it. You make a little more progress, and you make it outside of the forest. You are now halfway towards the town. Okay. Does, so does that mean I'm... We're... Uh, no, we're a quarter. <clears throat> oh, okay. Mike gets a quarter. Uh, Derp is about an eighth, but he's tangled and cannot move. Okay. <laughs> 